Hi there, and I wanted to share this video with you because we had the new GDPR regulations that came out the other day, and that stands for the General Data Protection Regulation. That basically means that you want to make sure that people, especially in Europe, this is rolled out specifically first in Europe, but it means that people on your list, you want to make sure that they know that they are signed up to your list. They are aware when they're signing up that they are going to be getting regular communications from you and you need to have a privacy policy in place as well. If you're new to my channel, be sure to stay around to the end of the video because I have something that's going to really help you out with your interior design business. And normally, yes, I am in the videos, but today, I'm not looking pretty and I wanted to get this information out to you. <laughs> so I'm screenshotting today and uh, there you can see a picture of me. What I look like when I've had all my makeup done and looking good. <laughs> In this video, I want to show you why it's important to make sure that people who are subscribed to your list are actually getting your emails and that, that that's important for a couple of different reasons. And one is because you want your readers to be engaged with you. You want them to be opening up your content. You want them to be seeing what you're sharing. You know, there's no point in having 10,000 subscribers if only 1,200 are opening up your email. That's not good. Another reason is because platforms such as MailChimp, which is what I use to hold my mailing lists and to send out my campaigns to my clients and subscribers, they charge you for more subscribers that you have. It's an increased rate that you're going to pay. That's why it's important to make sure that the people that are on your list are opening up or else you may as well get rid of them, which is what I'm going to show you how to do right now. I have a few different lists. We're going to look at my business coaching one right now. I've actually already knocked off about 250 subscribers from this a few weeks ago, but we're going to clip into here by doing exactly what I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so you want to go into your list. So I just went to lists, right? And then I picked the list that I wanted to uh, adjust and to create a segment. And that's what we're going to do. We want to create a segment of that list. And in order to create a segment, you want to contains all of the following conditions. And then you have some options here and you can add in some more conditions that we can uh, include to, to segment the list as much as you want. This is how I would do it. This is how I was doing it. So this is my recommendation. So your email marketing status is subscribed, unsubscribed, non-subscribed. I mean, that just means throughout the whole process, whether they've been um, any of those, I guess, to be to be honest, I'm not fully sure about the unsubscribed. I mean, if they're unsubscribed, then I would have thought that they're already unsubscribed. So, but I'm going to keep it in there. I'm keeping it in there. And then I hit add. So date added is a good one. So you might decide, you know, maybe give your people like four, four months, maybe, maybe a little bit longer if you want, but you can basically go date added. Oh yeah. Sorry. So if you click on that drop down, we're going to go into some of those more in a minute, but the date added comes up automatically. I'm assuming that that's going to be one of the most popular you can do, you know, if they were added, uh, if the date added is before, let's just say, a specific date. So you could do it from a campaign when you sent it. You obviously don't want to do it like a very recent campaign. You want to give people a chance to, to get your email. So I would give it a few months depending on how often it is that you actually send out emails. And you could choose a specific campaign, but I just like to do a specific date. So now I can say, hmm, if there was someone who was who signed up to my list or was added to my list before, uh, let's just say February... Okay, so right now I'm in July, so let's just say before February 1st. Okay, so let's just preview this so you can just have a look for a second and see. Okay, so I have 1,493 people that match that criteria because I didn't really narrow it down very good. Like some of these are like five stars. I don't want to. I don't want to knock those people off. Those people are opening up my emails, right? Um, eh, even though two are me, <laughs> you know. But anyway, so you don't want to knock off any of those. So now I want to go to, but now you're like, Ooh, okay. I still want to do something to that segment. Just hit the edit button there. And then we're going to add something else. So the one that I really like to choose is the contact rating. So this basically means anything that's less like two stars or less really, they're not opening up your email. Maybe one star is probably going to spam. So I like to put is less than three stars. Okay. So now that should change my See, now it's gone down to 292. So most of these people who have, you know, two stars, you know, maybe if there's any with one, the chances are they're not really getting your email. But if you want to be really cautious, let me just go back here. So yeah, now if, if I wanted to, what I could do 
is, uh, sorry, so we'll preview the segment. And then if I want to, I could basically highlight all of these. I could select what's visible and then you can delete. And then it's going to ask you, do you really want to delete these? And you say, yes, I do. I want to delete these. Okay. So there's other options there, but I don't use that. You can unsubscribe people. And so that's what you could do. So that is what I will do, but I'm just going to tell you one more trick. Okay. One more trick that I did. I decided to send out a mail this afternoon and I sent out to, well, one I sent out to my clients, which so far 31 of 90 have opened up, which by the way, 90 subscribers, those are clients that I've had that are good clients. I don't put every single client on my subscriber list. Um, and if I remember to ask people, but I do go through this because again, I want the open rate to be good. And this is usually around 50, 50% 50 or more. And that's where I get, you know, quite a few clients. So that one I just sent today. So this one here says, do you still want to receive my stuff? I thought, you know what, I'm going to give people an option. I'm going to show you what I wrote. Um, and so far I've had 17 people open it out of 136 because I was just going to delete these people from my list on one of the segments that I did. And then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to send them a quick email and I'm just going to show you the email so you can see to get an idea. The email was really quick. Please don't overthink this. I know that overthinking can definitely be done. Uh, so there's my image I have at the top. I just said, hi there. I noticed that you haven't opened any of my emails for a while. And although I'd love to stay in touch, I don't want to bother you if you don't feel that my advice, videos, and interviews have been helpful in growing your business. Please reply back to let me know if you would like to continue getting fabulous content to help you stay focused, organized, and motivated as an entrepreneur. If not, don't worry. No hard feelings. Just let people know, hey, I really am not going to be upset because they're not really opening it anyway. Okay. And then I wrote either way. I totally understand. Thanks for your time. And then, you know, there's my stuff that comes at the end of the emails, which is another video I'm sure. And so far already, uh, I have had two people email me separately saying, yes, please keep me on your list. I just am inundated, inundated with emails and I don't want to come off your list. And uh, someone else wrote something separate saying, yes, love your videos. So uh, I've written down their two names and I'll keep those two. But otherwise, you know, if, if I don't really hear back from these, I might as well get rid of 136 subscribers right? Kind of does make you sad. But at the same time, if they're not opening it, they're not seeing it. If it's going into their spam, they don't really care about it anymore. You don't want them on your list anyway. It's going to in increase, kind of inflate your numbers, but really not do anything to your open rate, which is really what you want. And, you know, we always got to make these changes. This is inevitable in business and with the ever-changing internet that we have today. So just be sure that, you know, you always see the positive side of things. And uh, I always think change is a good thing. Even if at the time we can't understand it or we don't know why, I do really believe it's a good thing. And as I promised at the beginning of the video, make sure you go and get my design packages and rates sheet free with coaching video. The link is in the description below. And I want to see you here more often so you can get more of my great videos with fabulous advice for your interior design business. All right, take it easy. Have a good one and I'll talk to you soon.